warships, dry dock. Indomitable, the fourth of the British illustrious class aircraft carriers, represented a significant milestone in the evolution of her class of ships due to a fundamental innovation, an armoured flight deck that significantly enhanced her protection against airstrikes. Attention captains, look for a bonus code in our video. You can activate it from July 10 to August 7 and complete the combat missions it unlocks until September 7. After activation, each battle at Indomitable's helm will earn you plus 200% ship XP, free XP and commander XP. You'll also get access to a combat mission that can be completed playing tier 5 to 10 ships and super ships, while the final reward for it will be 200 community tokens. All details are available available in a dedicated article on our website. The project was created in 1936 specifically for the European Naval Theatre. According to the British Admiralty, it was important to provide the aircraft carrier with improved protection to withstand massive attacks by ground aircraft. While fitting within the displacement limit of 23,000 tonnes set by the London Treaty of 1930 for the ship type, the armoured deck had to withstand two 27kg bomb hits and the belt armour, those of 155mm shells. The carrier's anti-aircraft armament was intended to be quite powerful, but a reduction in the size of her air group was planned so as to allow for a quick takeoff within 20 minutes. The smaller air group also allowed the carrier to maintain her combat survivability while under attack. As a result of the redesign of her interior and thinner vertical armour protection of the hangar, the hangar was converted into a double-deck one. The lower deck was almost three times smaller than the upper one, which in turn was of lower height. While the British Sea Hurricanes, Sea Fires and Albacores could fit in the hangar, superior American aircraft at the end of the war, like Corsairs, failed to do so, and the ship could carry only Hellcats and Avengers. Otherwise, Indomitable almost mirrored her prototype. The 76mm armour of the flight deck occupied more than half of her total area. The thickness of the main armour belt reached 114mm, and eight multipurpose twin mounts were installed. Her anti-aircraft armament, consisting of 40mm pom-poms, was strengthened over time by installing same caliber bofors and 20mm oolicons. Indomitable entered service in October 1941 and operated with the British Eastern Fleet in the Indian Ocean during the first half of 1942. She then returned to European waters in July 1942 and participated in the famous Operation Pedestal, escorting a convoy to Malta. On August 12, Indomitable was attacked by German dive bombers and took two direct hits with half-ton bombs to the unarmoured sections of the deck near the stern and bow lifts. After undergoing repairs for six months in the United States, the aircraft carrier returned to England. In July 1943, Indomitable covered the landing of Allied forces in Sicily and on July 16, she was hit by a German airborne torpedo. The ship suffered a notable list and was saved only by the quick counter-flooding of other compartments to balance her. Further repairs were performed on the aircraft carrier in the United States, lasting until March 1944. After her air group was prepared, Indomitable was again sent to the Indian Ocean, where her planes attacked Japanese targets on the Indonesian islands from August. From the spring of 1945 until the end of the war, the aircraft carrier operated in the Pacific Ocean, attacking targets on the Japanese islands. Indomitable continued her service in the home fleet until she was sent to the reserve in 1953. Her low hangar ceiling made it impossible to upgrade her to accommodate new aircraft. In 1955, she was excluded from the lists of the Royal Navy and scrapped. In World of Warships, Indomitable is a Tier 8 premium aircraft carrier.